हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल बी डूइंग प्रॉब्लम सेट नंबर 55 क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स इन द एक्सप्रेशंस विद द प्रॉपर नंबर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय सेवन इज इक्वल्स टू डैश मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन नाउ हेयर द आंसर इज वन सेवन ज सेवन is equals to one. Which number we will multiply one? So we will get the answer seven. So the answer is seven itself. Seven one zero seven. This is the answer. Question number two. Five multiplied by four is greater than seven multiplied by dash. Five multiplied by four is five four zero. Twenty is greater than. Now we need to multiply seven by a number. So we will get the answer less than twenty. So if we will multiply seven by two, the answer is seven to the fourteen. So fourteen is smaller than twenty, or we can say twenty is greater than fourteen. Question number three. Forty-eight divided by three is greater than dash multiplied by five. First, we will divide forty-eight by three. So the answer is three fifteen zero forty-eight is smaller than. Now we need to multiply five by a number, so we will get the answer more than fifty. So we will multiply four five. By four, five four is a twenty. So twenty is greater than fifty. Question number four: zero plus one is greater than five multiplied by dash. Zero plus one is equals to one. One is greater than five multiplied by which number? So we will get the answer less than one. The answer should be zero. Five zero is a zero. So one is greater than zero. Question number five. Thirty-five divided by seven is equals to dash plus dash. Seven divided by thirty-five, so the answer will be seven fives are thirty-five. So the answer is seven. Is equals to we need to take two numbers of which the sum is five. So we can take three or two. Three plus two is five. Question number six. Six minus dash is greater than two plus three. Two plus three is five. So we need to take a number after subtraction. The answer should be less than five. So if we will take two, the answer is six minus two is four is smaller than five. Or five is greater than four. Now problem set number fifty-six. Here we need to use. Letters to make a equation. Use a letter for any number and write the following properties in short. First question is the sum of any number and zero is the number itself. The sum means we need to here use addition. The sum of any number. We will take any number and a zero. So instead of numbers, we will use alphabets. The sum of any number and zero itself. The number is itself. First, we will take any number. So we will instead of numbers, we take alphabet. So x plus because here in question some word is used, so we will use addition. The sum of any number and zero is equals to the number itself. So x plus zero will be. Question number two. The 
product of any two numbers and the product obtained after changing the order of those number is the same. Now, product means we need to here use multiplication. The product of any two numbers. Products means multiplication. So we can take instead of numbers we will take alphabet. So we will take A and B. So A multiplied by B is equals to B multiplied by A. If we will change the numbers, the answer will be same. Number three, the product of any number and zero is zero. Again, the product means multiplication and zero. Instead of numbers, we will take alphabet. So, we will take M. M multiplied by zero is equals to zero. If we will multiply any number with zero, the answer will be zero. Question number two. Write the following properties in words. Now the properties are given here. We need to use the. We need to write this in words. First question is. M minus 0 is equals to M. The difference. of any number and zero is the number itself here because in question subtraction symbol is given so we will use the word difference for question number two n divided by 1 is equals to n so the answer is the quotient the quotient of any number is divided by 1 is the number itself if we will divide any number by 1 the answer will be same 